types of white fish are used when making ceviche. I help the fishermen with the catch. It's not very hard. You just have to drop the net in the boat. Our country has one of the largest fishing industries in the world. I leave the fishermen with their catch, and I'm on my way to see an expert cook who will show me how to make ceviche. You need very fresh fillets to make a good ceviche. The lady shows me how to cut the fillets into very thin slices. Then I add some onion cut into rings, and since it's a mixed ceviche, I add some pieces of crab meat and other seafood. Now we prepare to add the finishing touch to the recipe using the essential ingredient, lime juice. Ceviche is actually made from raw fish and seafood. The lime juice seals in the flavor of the fish. It replaces having to cook it. We garnish it with a little onion, and there you go. Dinner is ready. Veronica and I now dig in. Ceviche is served with sweet potato and a dish made from roasted corn grains. And to wash it all down, we have some chicha, juice made from the syrup of purple corn, which is typical in these parts. Tomorrow I'm going to the big zoo in Lima with my mom. I've always dreamed of seeing the animals native to my country, so this morning, mom is taking me to the Lima Zoo. We start off in the Sierra, in the mountain region known as the Andes where mountains stand as tall as 6,000 meters. This region has the most interesting animals. Llamas, along with their close relatives, the alpacas, and the vicuñas. Vicuñas, like llamas and alpacas, are part of the camel family. But they are the fussiest and wildest of the bunch. A zoo employee asks if I want to feed the alpacas. They're smaller and have shorter necks than llamas. They're quite tame. These animals roam free in the mountains. You can also find them around Machu Picchu, the most famous Inca site in the world. And beyond Machu Picchu lies the vast Selva region, the jungles of the Amazon forest, which cover most of Peru's territory. Mom and I venture deep into the heart of the Selva, a tropical region inhabited by many types of wild cat. But this time, there's no way I'm getting into the cage with them. The Selva is home to parrots and bears. There are also otters and black panthers. To complete our journey through the Amazon forest, Mom and I decide to take a boat ride down the waters of the Selva. Hasta luego. Bye now.
Hello, my name is Viviana. I'm 11 years old and I'm Peruvian. I'm going to show you Peru, from its jungles to its mountains and along its coast. Today, I'm meeting my friend Tatiana near the planetarium. My country is the land of the Incas, a native aboriginal people. They were fascinated with the world around them, and by gazing at the sky, they learned to understand the natural cycle of the seasons. In the spirit of the Incas, Tatiana and I love to gaze at the city and the coastline. Our country has over 2,400 kilometers of coastline. We decide to head down toward the ocean so we can watch people enjoying one of the favorite pastimes at the beach, surfing. In Lima, the capital of Peru, and all along the Peruvian coast, people surf throughout the year. Tatiana and I have many errands to run this afternoon. First on our list is the Craftsman's Market. Our country is well known for its handicrafts, its hand-woven carpets, and its clothing made from alpaca and vicuña wool, which is among the finest in the world. Mmm, these hats are so soft. <laughs> But today is our mother's birthday. They were born on the same day, so we've decided to buy them each a piece of silver jewelry. My country is one of the largest silver producers in the world. We've made our choices. I'm sure our moms will be happy. Just like the rest of South America, religion is very important in our country. 92% of Peruvians are Catholic. Tatiana and I go to Mass regularly. After leaving church, I have to buy a small gift for my little cousin's communion. The salesperson suggests a candle and a rosary with a small prayer book. In my country, there's certainly no shortage of boutiques that sell religious objects. One whole street in the capital is reserved for selling them. You can find something for every taste and every occasion. But Tatiana and I have not forgotten that we have dance rehearsal tonight. Three costumes, three dances, to represent the three main geographical regions of Peru. To begin with, the dance of the coast. Our teacher tells us to stay close to our brave gentlemen. And round we go. Next we perform a rainforest dance. A little practice, and then it's up to us to follow our teacher's instructions for the choreography of this dance, called the Selva. And since the rainforest is warmer than other parts of the country, we're dressed in lighter clothing. With our parents watching, we move to the beat of eastern Peru. The last dance is from the Sierra, the mountain region with its more colorful and much warmer traditional outfits. They're made from sheep and llama wool and are often hand-woven by the farmers who work in the mountains of Peru. One last go-round, and our day is complete. 